Last month, we brought you exciting scenes from the 20th edition of the Badminton Asia Junior Championships. Held in Jakarta, Indonesia this year, the annual tournament had attracted 23 countries from the region, and Badminton Unlimited took the opportunity to learn more about badminton in Uzbekistan. The Central Asian nation may not be in the same bracket as the traditional powerhouses, but reputations did little to hamper the enthusiasm of their players. Uh, I want to show all Asia what Uzbekistan players represent. And I will uh, show my 100% to the, in this tournament uh, to Asian players believe in Uzbekistan also have good players. This is my first time participating and I'm enjoying it. I like how everything is organized and the high quality of players here. It's great to be here. At the tournament, the Uzbekistan contingent consisted of only four players, participating in both the team and individual competitions. Their numbers may be modest, but for a country which only formed its badminton governing body six years ago, fielding a competitive group of players in Jakarta was a promising start. One of the existing and developing sports in Uzbekistan is badminton. It is still a young sport. In 2011, the Uzbekistan Badminton Federation was established and as a result, the national team was formed alongside it. The oldest players are 27 years old, while the youngest players are 13 years of age. The Uzbekistan Badminton Federation has since laid the groundwork to develop the sport across the nation. With a population of over 30 million people, the administrators have made encouraging progress in growing the numbers. In Uzbekistan, we have 14 regions. So during local tournaments, all the players from these 14 states represent their teams. In each of these regions and states, there is a head coach who is responsible for the preparation of the team. So we work with them. At this point of time, there are 13 to 14 coaches who are responsible for the work in their respective regions. Altogether, there are 67 players in the national team, 16 of which are in the senior team as well as a small reserve squad. Then there are players up to 19 years old, which has 14 players, and again, that's a small reserve squad. But as with any badminton nation in its infancy, there are challenges. Among the biggest obstacles facing the Uzbekistan national team is a lack of proper equipment, as well as raising the level of badminton in its ranks. Our problem in the country is that we do not have the sport set up in the highest standards. Players in Uzbekistan have to play with plastic shuttlecocks. Even sometimes, members of the national team do not get a chance to train with feather shuttlecocks. Because at this point, there are just not enough of them. There is a shortage of good shuttlecocks. Currently, we do not have top-class players in the country, and badminton is a game where sparring is such an essential part of training. So it's very important to travel to play against top-level players. While the uptake of the sport in the country has been good, there's still a lot of work ahead to raise the profile of badminton. It's a massive task to increase the awareness of the shuttle sport, but it hasn't stopped Uzbekistan's various badminton stakeholders from pushing their efforts forward. I want to badminton became popular in my country because when I talk with my friends, they're asking me, what, what is it badminton? And it's very difficult to explain because it's very good sport, difficult sport, but they don't want to understand. And I, it's my little dream, uh, badminton will be famous in my country and every can uh, say badminton it's a good sport. In order to develop the sport, it does not mean just working with kids, adults and sports people. 
it does not mean traveling overseas. There are many schemes, but to develop the sport, you must capture every layer of the population. The Federation is doing a lot of work, together with our government, that is responsible for culture and sports. Uzbekistan badminton may still be seeking a firm foothold in the country, but with solid plans already in place and more being mapped out, there's plenty of optimism. My biggest wish is that the sport of badminton in Uzbekistan will be no less popular than boxing, judo and other popular types of sports in the country. We hope that badminton keeps developing everywhere in the world and that all the good plans work out well at the Badminton World Federation and Badminton Asia. This is so that we could all work together to achieve the common objectives and keep moving forward.